fancy a race, Harry? <laughs> I nearly forgot to um hit record. Um, I kind of miscounted here. Uh, apparently I have to do it one more time, but um, it'll be the last one. There'll be only one left after this uh, wave. And if it if it's still forty, then uh, I think I'll have about thirty or twenty spare once I've d done these two. It won't take me long to uh, grab the grab the last. I don't know how many is left. So I can just fly around the grounds and going through the rings to get the beans. Oh yeah, I'm winning. Suck a dick. audio at least they don't just fucking zoom past you towards the end in this version I hated that on the PS2 a bit in front and then they just randomly zoom up at the end and it makes you lose oh yeah Winning Harry. Have a wizard card. Yay. Number 38. Chauncey, Chauncey Aldridge. Aldridge. 1342 to 1379. First known victim of Dragon Pox. What a great thing to be famous for. This time, Harry. Let's have another race. It'll cost, cost 40, 40 beans. beans. Yeah, tw about 20 left, so I'll have to get another 20. I will talk to him to see if it's actually 40 or 50, because I think in the PS2, the final one is actually 50 beans. Fucking... Oh, uh, gonna take a bit. I swear this is this seems similar to the uh, previous one. Maybe it might be backwards. Or I don't know. This looks r really similar. Looks like it's the same kind of bit of the same path. Oh my god! He has no body. Oh holy shit! Got no back or anything. Oh no, it's different. Looks like it's same path, but the rings are kind of in like harder spots, so it makes it easy for you to hit the uh, roof, roofs and stuff. Okay. Here's a wizard card. Number thirty-nine. Gwyneth Jones. 1968 to present, captain and beater of only all-female national Quidditch team, the Hollyhead Harpies. Uh, just one more, number 40. You won last time we raced. Think you can win again? It'll cost 50 beans. You know what? Okay, so I need another 30. Alright, broomstick time. I, I, I don't think I remember even showing any of this off, so... Um, I'm gonna show you all this off. In this version, there's no mechanic to, like, makes you knock around everywhere when you hit a building. I'll show you what ha what it actually is in this version. See? That's all it is. It doesn't say, ooh, ah, and all that shit either. And he, re he, he reacts to this. If you fly up to the barrier of the school... I can't the there. 
And then one line he says something where it's just like a th some like a magical barrier is restricting me from going further or something like that. Can't really remember what it actually uh, says. Okay, once I get 50 beans, I'm going to actually um, save and then go back outside to um, do the uh, Quidditch thing because. Um, yeah, I'm um, just had enough of collecting beans. Really, I don't want to see another bean ever again. Um, okay, the yellow rings give you one bean. The blue, the green ones, uh, I think, give you two. Uh, red gives you five, and blue gives you ten. Or it might, or green and red might be switched around. I I can't really remember. Oh, another a yellow ring. The blue ones are the best ones, but yeah, they yeah they rarely show up. So you you luck you'd be lucky if you actually see them. I managed to get like two blues in one go, which is really rare. Hopefully you can see a blue one on this run. You just have to fly around and brings will randomly just appear, you'll find. It's like how that um same mechanic as uh, the beans in... Um, the beans in the shield at uh, the seventh floor next to the fat lady's portrait. <sighs> okay, 40, just 10 more beans. Really annoyed at the fucking audio crackling. Oh, green! He's just stop giving me yellows. Oh, green is five. Okay, so red must be uh two bit like two beans. Yeah, I did get green and red mixed up. Yeah, you can't. Annoying thing, yeah, you can't even land, like, on here. That looks interesting. So you can only be, like, uh, Hagrid's Heart, the entrance, um, Herbology, uh, Quidditch Pitch, and Quidditch Training. Annoyingly, they're the only places you can actually dismount your broom in the grounds. Can't really explore any of these buildings. There we go, 52 beans. Alright, back to the entrance and save. A bit glitchy here, you gotta like be next to Neville to be able to dismount. I can't really dismount from up here. Oh, I'm so happy of gotten every single fucking last bean wizard card. I won't have to do all this stupid bean collecting again. I really should have put the confiscated items cupboard in there. So I get those 250 beans each time. Instead of having to spend like fucking 50 goes at going through Hogwarts collecting beans. It's ridiculous. Seems to take a bit for uh, a progress to write to the memory card when I'm recording for some weird reason. I don't know why. There we go, racing. It's Harry Potter, isn't it? Fancy a race? It'll cost fifty beans. 
Okay, where is he? There he is. Oh, he doesn't start that much in front. In the PS2, one of them starts like nearly two or three rings in front. Which is really not fair. Hey, you're already in front. Seems to be if you if you're good at controlling, they don't get in front of you in this ver in Xbox and GameCube. If you go through all the rings, they won't get in front of you either. So they just fucking cheat like freaking PS2. I hate the PS2 broomstick racing. Oh yeah. Well, I didn't think it was that far behind. Here's a famous witches and wizards card. Yay, broomstick racing is done. That's the last card. Carlotta Pinkstone. Whoa, a gold one. Yay. Carlotta Pinkstone, 1922 to present. Famous campaigner for lifting the international confederation of wizards statute of secrecy and telling the mu telling muggles that wizards still exist ms pickstone has been imprisoned several times for a blatant and deliberate use of magic in public places <laughs> she didn't give a fuck oh yeah i got one spare card it looks like so i'm gonna go one uh i'm gonna go through all these pages Double check that I've gotten every single card. Yep. What? Right. Okay, there we go. Everything's done. I'm gonna go talk to Dumbledore, get the Harry Potter card, and uh, do one quick look through all of the cards before we go to the Great Hall. Here's Dumbledore. Ah, Harry. I see that you now have 100 unique Yay. famous witches and wizards cards in your folio magi. Please, take this card to complete your collection. Wow, thanks, Professor Dumbledore. Yay. Run along then, Harry. Run along, Harry. Number 101. Harry Potter. Hey, he's excited. <laughs> Harry Potter, wicked! Harry Potter, the boy who lived! I don't have the year he was born, that's sad. Uh, looks like, yeah, this game managed to uh, add on his uh, arm. I think it's the PS2 version that might have his arm removed. It's one of those. I'm not going to do go back to the first page and have one quick look at every single card. Yeah, and you can read everything if you want. You want. Oh good, you can... Right goes down to the bottom there, that's good. So enough to keep going back to 13 and down. <laughs> I love her face. Oh shit, whoops. Damn it. Wrong fucking button. Yeah. There. Alright, back to where I was. I got Mirabelle Plunkett as a spare as well.
You know, I don't think you can get spares for these other cards apart from the ones at Gringotts when you have the uh, secret area done on the Game Boy Advance version, which I will do after the Game Boy Advance is done because I can't. It's impossible for me to do it now. So what I'm going to do is do the Game Boy Color version. Oh no, wait, I'll, I'll just skip to Chamber of Secrets for Game Boy Advance, just so you can get that stuff done quicker. So yeah, I'm going to do the Game Boy Advance version first. Unlock the uh, secret room for the Game Boy Advance, complete all that, and I should unlock the uh, that portrait for the Game Boy, for the GameCube version. And I'll start that part up uh, when I can. I do have MGBA, which is, uh, I don't know, they use the code or whatever, so they can enable the MGBA can connect to the GameCube version. So I'm gonna fully set that up so I can get the best uh, quality for Game Boy Advance. Salazar Slytherin. Oh, I fucking love Mopsus. That what a great name. Did is his eyes closed? I think it looks like it. Is that two Oswalds? Oh, that's all Cino. <laughs> Quangpo. Alright, here we go. That's it. Now all we need to do is go to the Great Hall and, uh, oh, no, I forgot to save. Can't forget that, otherwise I won't have, truly have 100%. Well, that time it fucking wrote quickly. I'll see if Dumbledore says anything different. Perhaps you should be elsewhere, Harry. Yeah, he does. Why don't you spend your last day of the term? Exploring those places where you haven't been before. Or perhaps you could try exploring those places you have been before. Okay. I'm sure you've got better things to do than to stand around talking to me. Perhaps you should be elsewhere, Harry. Alright, that's all he says. Alright, we'll open up the Great Hall, which is for some reason the only time we can go into the Great Hall in this version. That was p boring sound effect. I wonder if we've won. We come to the end of another most eventful year at Hogwarts. His mouth still so, moved. For their many achievements and outstanding commitment to the school. It is with great pleasure oh, yeah. that I Yay, we won. the House Cup to Gryffindor. Just realised uh, Ginny disappeared too, because she was outside the Great Hall in the PS2 version. Oh, they're all... 
They all weren't even upset. Just Malfoy was pissed off. <laughs> Those didn't even care. Oh, new cutscene. Oh, but loading, loading screen, I mean. Oh, new cutscene. Forks. Oh. Harry told them everything. For nearly a quarter of an hour, he spoke into the rapt silence. This really he should have happened before voice. going to the Great Hall. Makes sense in the story. How Hermione had finally realized that he was hearing a basilisk in the pipes. How he and Ron, following a hint from Hagrid... <laughs> Ron looks so confused, he doesn't know why he's here. Forest, but Aragog had told them where the last victim of the basilisk, 50 years before, had died. How he had guessed that Moaning Myrtle had been the victim, and that the entrance to the Basilisk's lair, the Chamber of Secrets, might be in her bathroom. But, how did you all get out of there alive? Well, it had a lot to do with loyalty and friendship. Don't have to and yell. Courage. <laughs> Harry, you can't forget that. Yes, and courage too. <laughs> He's Professor Dumbledore scared there. explained that 50 years ago, Lord Voldemort, as the 16-year-old Tom Riddle, had enchanted his diary, and that diary had enchanted Ginny. For it was Lucius Malfoy who had planted Tom Riddle's diary on the hapless Ginny Weasley. And, as for Harry, well, once again, he truly was the boy who lived. Yay! Finally, Chamber of Secrets is done! Ah, uh, Ericom Entertainment Software must be the uh, Xbox and GameCube developers. Seems like this is it already. Game completed. Is there any need for that? <laughs> I know it's completed. That's what the credits mean. Hey, we're all done. Hope you enjoyed this playthrough. Um, yeah, I'll get to playing more some more games soon. Uh, next one will probably be the GBA Chamber of Secrets, so I can. Get this Game Boy Advanced Link stuff done. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you then. Bye.